So social media is um, nothing really new. Um, it's new technology, but we spend our entire lives trying to build relationships. I mean, we're human beings, I and mean, our whole lives exist about building relationships with one another. If we didn't have relationships with one another, we wouldn't have businesses, we wouldn't have families. Uh, we pretty much um, really wouldn't exist uh, for all intents and purposes. So social media and use of the technology associated with social media is just another way to do what we do every day. And I really think that you need to understand it that way if you really want to get the value out of it. Social media also, or social networking, is really part of overall public relations, overall communications, overall marketing. It doesn't stand by itself. Um, it relates to all of the other marketing and PR activities that you might be involved in. Um, so again, I think it's important to understand it within that context. Uh, and there is a, a difference between social media and social networking. Um, anybody see the movie Social Networks? wasn't very good, but it was great. <laughs> if you want to know what kind of guy Mark Zuckerberg is, uh, it's, it's probably good to uh, watch it from that standpoint. Um, anybody here use Twitter, uh, use Facebook, um, on social media at all? Yeah. I see a couple of hands going up. Uh, anybody who's listening in, um, any of you folks um, listen to, uh, use social media, Facebook, Twitter? I'll take that as a no. Um, so uh, let's kind of um, talk about a little bit um, just to give you a sense. So we're a government relations firm, we're a strategic communications firm, and I think we've learned how to use social media very effectively for our business. Um, it's, it's something that I thought was important as a new channel, and since what we do is basically communicate with people, we felt the need to use this technology um, to communicate with a lot of different audiences. So one of the key things to think about here, and, and so I want to do two themes as we move through this conversation. One is for you to think strategically, and the other is for you to understand it technically. From a strategic standpoint, what we're talking about, first and foremost, is goal identification. If you're going to use this technology, you need to understand what your goal is. Why do you want to use it? Uh, the goal is the most important thing because the goal then determines what your objectives are, what your underlying strategies are, but the goal is the most important thing. So, um, you know, as you're thinking, as you're, as you're watching this presentation, listening to it, think about what your ultimate goal is for the use of the technology. In the case of my company, our goal was to attract an audience of individuals who are policy makers, thinkers, decision makers, about 3,000 people. Um, county commissioners, local township supervisors, up to legislators, cabinet secretaries, the governor. That was our audience. Those were the people that we wanted to be able to talk to on a regular basis. So our goal was to try to figure out a way um, that we could get those individuals to want to pay attention to us. And, and why do I say that? Because social media, unlike traditional PR, traditional marketing, traditional advertising, is not about broadcasting message and beating people over the head with your message. It's about providing people something of value that will cause them to want to pay attention to you. Um, this is an opt-out technology. If people don't want to listen to you, they don't like you on Facebook, they don't become your friend, they don't follow you on Twitter, they don't connect with you on LinkedIn. They just don't bother with you. So the reason why they will bother with you is they must perceive that you have something of value that they want to pay attention to and are willing to connect, like, and follow you. So identifying the goal is the most important thing. Once you identify your goal, then you need to identify what audiences you want to reach. Now your audiences might be policymakers, they might be folks who live in your community, um, who live around your plants, it could be the environmental community, um, it could be the activist community, if you're trying to counter uh, um, the conversations that they're having or if you want to add to their conversation. Uh, it, it could be each other, it could be other professionals, um, it could be other businesses or consultants in your industry, but you need to identify the audience. So first is the goal, second is the audience, and then once you've identified the audience, what is it that you can provide that audience that has value? 
I mean, what can you give them that will keep them hanging around and pay attention to the conversation? So if it's legislators, it might be educating them on the substantive issues of the day that are affecting you. It could be on the regulatory environment that they may not be aware of because most of your, a lot of your regs are at the federal level. So if they're state legislators, it might be trying to educate them about what's affecting you at the federal <coughs> level. And if it's federal legislators, it might be about what's affecting you at the local level. Um, but you need, to, you need to figure out what that value proposition is. As we sit down and develop a strategy for RIPA, those are the kinds of questions we're going to be asking the board, the kinds of questions we're going to be talking to Jeff about, is what's your goal, who's the audience, and then what can we provide of value to that audience.